Starting with version 4.3 of Acknowledge, it's possible to synchronize and merge buyback physiological data and SMI eye tracking data. The SMI computer parallel port should be connected to BIPAC's STP100C. In SMI Experiment Center, make sure to send a trigger via the parallel port at the beginning of the experiment. To record these triggers in Acknowledge, enable all the digital channels. We go to Setup Channels, 8 through 15 should be selected. Start recording data with Acknowledge first and then with the SMI eye tracking system. In this way, when you finish the experiment and you export the data from BigAce, you'll be able to line it up with the physiological data. Now let's have a look at the import process. First of all, here is some physiological data that was recorded with Biopax equipment. We have blood pressure, skin conductance, and heart rate. A digital input channel has recorded the trigger from SMI that came over the parallel port at the beginning of the experiment. It's the one right here. The eye tracking data has been exported from BGAZE as a text file. We can now merge this eye tracking data into the physiological record. Go to the file menu and choose the SMI BGAZE import. Choose the file that contains the export the data from SMI. Now we have a number of options. What we'll do in this case is import the eye tracking data into the physiological data record. In this case, this is the file name, participant data, and we'll use the TTL trigger on digital channel 8, that's the channel right here, to line up the eye tracking data and the physiological data. We can also choose which signals and event markers to import. Note that we could also use software alignment or no alignment, but the highest accuracy, of course, is achieved via a TTL trigger marker. Let's import the data. And now we have all the new channels from the eye tracking import, as well as markers. They represent when each stimulus image has been uh, presented. And furthermore, we have other markers that show us when we have looked at specific other target areas. Baby, in this case, we've looked at a photograph of a computer, etc. Let us zoom in on the data record. And we can uh, auto scale. Here we have the presentation of the image. It was an image of Amsterdam. And right here, we also have uh, a marker that indicates when we hit an area of interest. Now that we have the physiological data and the eye tracking data in the same synchronized data file, we can explore the relationship between them. For example, we could calculate the mean heart rate for seven seconds following each stimulus presentation. We have to go to find cycle, choose the start and end event. In this case, it would be the SMI stimulus presentations. And then we'll highlight from zero to seven seconds after the beginning of the stimulus presentation and we'll output the results in Excel. Let's uh, go ahead and look at the results and we can see the time of each stimulus presentation and the mean heart rate for the seven second period that followed the stimulus presentation. We could also locate interesting changes in the physiological responses. For example, here is a skin conductance response and uh, see how they relate to the eye tracking data. Having the physiological and eye tracking data in one file opens up many possibilities for data analysis. Thank you for watching this overview of the new SMI import feature in Acknowledge.